Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and I hope you're all doing well. Today we have got a couple of PC gaming hardware news stories to get through. First up, we'll be talking about NVIDIA and the RTX 2080 Ti Super, which is just a rumor right now. And there was a rumor circulating last week about it being spotted on an Ida64 patch note. So we're going to be discussing that as we've got some new information regarding it. And also the Ryzen 5 3500 has been spotted and actually leaked out by Tum underscore Apisac over on Twitter. So we're going to get fired into all of the news. But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelGo.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2019 for $80, and Microsoft Office 2016 for under $40. And if you use my coupon codes at checkout, you can save an additional 22% off of Windows 10 Pro or 16% off of any software you pick up over there. Or now you can get 3% off of the entire website with the code PDS3 at checkout. So be sure to use these coupon codes with the links down in the description below. So first up, we'll be talking about NVIDIA and that RTX 2080 Ti Super. As I said at the start, about a week ago, uh, there was a rumor starting to go around about this card and being spotted in IDA64 patch notes with the codename RTX T10-8 as a GPU, an NVIDIA GPU, obviously. I mean, it is an RTX card, you would expect it to be. So a lot of people obviously were buzzing on the internet saying that this is a 2080 Ti Super, which as of, as of this point in time, NVIDIA has not announced that card. In fact, they've denied it on multiple occasions that they are working on a 2080 Ti Super, but it wouldn't be the first time that a company has lied about a product that's in development, which they're not ready to reveal yet. So, you know, really anyone, anyone's best guess at this point. However, some gamers have actually been able to get access to the RTX T10 8 using the GeForce Now servers, which is the new streaming service that was announced by NVIDIA recently, where you'll be able to uh, play games basically streaming it off of NVIDIA's own hardware that is on a server somewhere. And some of the players that were in the North California and German regions were actually able to, um, when they did look, when they were using the systems, they were able to see that it was running the RTX T10 8 GPU and they were able to run some benchmarks on it and also confirm that it is actually not a 2080 Ti Super but in fact this is going to this is actually a Tesla card so yeah that's basically what they were able to figure out from this and they did actually even run some benchmarks on it and it was running about 52% slower than modern Tesla cards using the Touring architecture using 3D Mark Firestrike. And it is also worth noting that this was running on a non-DirectX 12 operating system. It was running on Windows Server 2012. So yeah, if you were hoping to you know, use the GeForce Now uh, service right now at this point uh, to be able to utilize DirectX 12 and, you know, do ray tracing in modern titles like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Metro Exodus. You probably would not be able to do that as you would need uh, DirectX 12 to be able to do so. So it seems NVIDIA is going to need to update the operating system on the back, back end. So it wasn't really just the GPU uh, holding back performance. It could have well, very well been the operating system as well. Uh, but yeah, as of right now, we don't have any new information concerning 2080 Ti Super or if it's going to be coming personally, I don't really see much reason for them to release it. Although I didn't really see much reason for them to release the 2080 Super either. Or, um, I mean, the other Super, the 2060 and 2070 Super maybe make a little bit more sense as they do need to compete with the Navi GPUs. But the 2080 Super has no competitor. There's no reason to really release that card and they did it anyway. So who's to say they won't release a 2080 Ti Super if they feel they have the ability to do so. I feel like if they do have the ability then they probably will. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see on that. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you've been waiting for 2080 Ti Super as an upgrade to your current GPU. Uh, personally, as someone that's already running a 2080 Ti, I don't really need the extra 3% performance improvement. So it wouldn't be worth it to me in any way whatsoever. But name a few, that is a different case. But I don't think we're going to get one. Um, you know, I might end up, you know, eating my words on that. But I don't think there will be a 2080 Ti Super um, coming out anytime soon or at all, honestly. Next up, we got to talk about AMD and the Ryzen 5 3500, which you should not confuse with the 3500U, which is the new Ryzen CPU with integrated Vega graphics. Um, this is actually going to be a six core, six threaded 
Ryzen, Ryzen 3000 series CPU, so no hyper-threading on this. This was leaked by the Twitter user Tom underscore Apisac, which if you've been following me, you know that we've covered numerous leaks which have come from him as he scouts out a lot of different websites and databases and things like that, looking for information on different CPUs, GPUs, hardware, and then leaking them over on Twitter, and he has an excellent track record, but of course with any rumor or leak you should take it with a grain of salt. So other than knowing that it's the Ryzen 5 3500 and it's six core, six threads, if you look at his tweet here, you could see we've also got some of the specs on it coming in at 3.6 gigahertz with a turbo frequency of 4.1 or a boost frequency, I should say. And for a physics score, which we don't know exactly what that's from, but it's very likely from 3D Mark Firestrike. And it shows a physics score of over just a little over 12,800. We didn't get the full number there for some reason, but 12,800 and something which would be a fair bit slower than the 3600 which could score of around 19,000 running at stock speeds. Now I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that AMD will put out a Ryzen 5 3500 or whatever the name ends up being that is going to be six cores and six threads as they've done that on the previous generation. I just think it's going to matter where they end up slotting this in in terms of price as the current 3600 sells for around $199. I assume this would have to be around $150 uh, in order to be competitive in any way. However, I feel like AMD will probably end up competing with itself more than it would with, say, Intel, uh, because they also have the Ryzen 5 2600, which you can easily get right now, which is six cores and, and 12 threads. So it's got more threads than this tentative CPU. And you could find those on Amazon right now for around $130. So they might end up competing with their, themselves on their second gen Ryzen CPU. So that would definitely be interesting to see. Now, of course, uh, you know, six cores and 12 threads would be better, but you would be getting more, uh, you would be getting that IPC uplift, that roughly 10 to 15% IPC uplift that we saw going to Zen 2 on the new, on the new uh, Ryzen CPUs. So, you know, you kind of have to weigh your options there is do you want the faster IPC or do you want the more cores and threads if you're going to be doing things like streaming? It might make sense to go for the higher core and thread count. Now, it would also be an interesting matchup to see, seeing, you know, the 3500 versus the 2600 and see which one is worth the money for sub $150 if that's what, you know, the price ends up being. And I feel like to be competitive, and again, that's to be competitive with themselves, they have to probably set the price around 150 bucks or maybe even a little lower than that, as I think a lot of people would probably opt for the 2600 wanting to get more cores and threads. But that is all I've got for you guys today on the leaked Ryzen 5 3500 and the confirmation that the 2080 Ti Super that we saw in the IDA64 patch notes is in fact not a 2080 Ti Super, but a testless GPU which is going to be used for the servers on the GeForce Now streaming program, which may end up changing, but for right now it seems like they are using Tesla GPUs on the servers for that, so uh, I guess that's to be expected. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on both of the topics that we covered here today. I hope you guys all do have a good weekend, as I hopefully have a good one myself. I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you tomorrow, maybe, or maybe on Monday or Sunday, I don't know. I'll see you at some point for another video.